So today uh, we'll see how to use combo box uh, component from shared CN UI. So combo box is very popular uh, to display any drop down where you can search and so I want to search I can search that. But there is there are some issues with using combo box. So when you try to use it first time, you might face some issues. And so we'll see how to fix those issues and how to display properly this combo box. So, in, so I have used this combo box in my library management system. So you can see I can select a book, I can search, and here I can select the student also, and I can issue that book. So let's say I select this, and then I can issue that book, and that book will be issued to that particular book. So this is really useful, but when you try to use it first time, you will face some issues, and you will not be able to use this dropdown. So let's see how to do that. So I already created an application using Shad CN UI and Tailwind CSS. If you don't know how to do that, then check out the video linked in the description. So let's try to use this. So this is a blank page. I don't have anything. So now to use any component, you need to manually install. Them. So how to install, you need to use popover and command. So this combo box depends on popover and command component. To, so we can go to this respective component and how can we install, we can see this. So let's copy this command and I can install it. So this installs that popover component and then we also need to install this command component. So for that, it's exactly the same. So instead of popover, we just need to give command. So now let me type command. And once we installed any of the component, it gets added inside components UI. And inside that, you will see this popover component. Let me close this. So you can see this is all uh, code for popover component. And there is now command component. So all the code gets added. You can also change this code to match as per your need. So you can see both the components are now installed. I can start the application. And let's see how to use now this combo box. So this is the drop down which we need to do. So let's copy this code and I can add inside the app component. So let me add here. So I'll replace the entire file and I will name it app component export default. Now, if you go here, refresh this. Let me open the console. So you can see drop down is getting displayed. But as soon as I select, you get this error. So let's first make this in the center so we can clearly see this. So I will add a div around this. And I will add tendencies as classes, flex. Item center justify center. And we also need to add you some height, height screen. So it will be center. So you can see now whenever I click on that, you get this error. So what the error is saying, undefined is not it. Right? So we have copied the exact code as it is, only the use client is not required here. So let me remove that use client. This is specific to next year. But even after removing that, if I refresh and click on this, you can see we are getting the same error. So why we are getting this error? So there is a bug in Shadsen UI. So whenever you install any component, that component uh, you need to install, uh, there it depends on CMDK package also. So let's say this command item. So if I remove this command item, and if I search for command item, and if I try to import this, you get two suggestions. CMDK and the component that we installed in the components for. So com CMDK is in which this command component is dependent. So whenever there is any change in CMDK, it gets reflected in command also. So what you need to do is you need to correctly import the component which we have added and each command item need to be wrapped inside command list. So just command group is not enough. You can wrap command list around this command item. Command list. 
and again import it from command make sure you correctly import and paste it here so you can li do like this and if i refresh now when i select you can see now there is no error so we are not getting any error this is a warning because now we have added command list and key we need to add it here so if i refresh now you can see we are not getting any error so you can do this command list here or you can wrap this command list outside us so let me move this outside and this key again we can move it here now this command list and we can move it out so you just need command list command item need to be inside command list that's the requirement so you can add it outside or you can add it inside so even if i refresh now you can see it's still works. But if you see these all these are in, uh, disabled. So if you check here inside preview, I am able to select this. But in our case, it's still disabled. So there is another bug uh, that you need to fix. So for that, what you need to do inside the command dot JSX, which is inside components UI, just go inside this file and you can search for data hyphen disabled in bracket. So you can see you get this line which says data hyphen disabled pointer events now. So instead of just disable, you need to add disabled equal to true. So that's the change you need to do. And once you save this file, if I refresh now, you can see you are able to select this. So these are the changes you need to do. So this, there are some bugs uh, in Shadsian UI. So there are already open issues related to this. So it will be fixed later, but uh, till that time, this component is really useful for uh, displaying any drop down. So to use that, you can easily make these changes and don't worry about directly changing this. So when you delete node modules folder and do npm install, it will not override this file. So if the command.jsx already exists, and then it will not override the, this file and it will remain as it is. So even if you share this code with someone else and that person does npm install, he will not lose the changes what we have done. So this is one time change you need to do for using that drop down component and you can use it anywhere. Now you can easily use this uh, component and you can do whatever you want. So here, Let's go to this and here we have command item. We are selecting this value and you can also uh, display that value, selected value. So the selected value gets added here. So if I log that value, you can see what is selected. So you can see default is next. Yes. If I change it to remix, you can see remix is selected. So you can easily implement this so this is a smaller width if you want you can also change this so by default 200 pixel width is given i can give it to 500 pixel and the drop down will be larger so that's it for this video so this drop down is really useful you can do various types of drop down so you can see this drop down is there there is uh, also extra drop down you can open this so you can do only if you are successfully able to fix this issue. So that's why it's very important to fix this issue Then you can use this uh, really useful combo box component and you can learn how to use it. So if you want to learn how to use uh, this combo box and chat CN UI along with Superbase, then you can check out the link in the description where you will learn this library management system, how to build it from scratch using React Query, React, Superbase, and this Shadsian UI. So here you will see how to build this from scratch, everything again from scratch. So that's it for this video. If you found this useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.